Good morning, Gasham. Thank you very much for being here with us. Hey, ladies, thank you so much for having me. Um, we are, uh, the world is starting to open up again, you know, and I'm, I'm still kind of in quarantine attire here, but uh, thank you so much for, for having me on your interview. So let's start with our first question, if you are okay. Tell us the science fiction novel that makes us think about the danger of a totalitarian regime which could progressively penetrate our democracies, like a peaceful infiltration because of the fear of terrorism and independent truth. Can you tell us more about this novel to encourage the viewer to read it? Uh, well, okay, so Terrace um, starts with, uh, with a, a totalitarian regime. America locks its borders, uh, it outlaws all religion, it outlaws abortion, um, and uh, uh, goes full police state. So our, our protagonist, Terrace Norman, is um, one of these police officers, and she has this ability, this unexplained ability, to heal people uh, by touch, you know, so she touch and, and a bullet wound goes away or, or, or what have you, kind of Jesus-like, um, she can't really uh, talk about it because it's outlawed in, in, uh, in, in society here. Um, and that's, that's basically the, the starting point and, and everything all, all follows uh, from there. In 2001, USA lived an horrific moment in its history, 9-11 attacks. None of us were born, but our parents told us how shocking this day was, even for people who are not American. Can you tell us if your early idea of terrorism started after 9-11 and how you built your story's dystopian future? 9-11 uh, played a huge role in, in influencing terrorists. You know, we uh, um, woke up that day and our world forever changed as far as our sense of security we realized we could be hit uh, as a country and um, so I just basically kind of took the next step what if that becomes a regular thing you know and then what's the country do how does it respond um, to uh, um, increasing uh, terrorist um, activity and how does it preempt how does it anticipate and so the uh, the outlawing of religious groups of all religious groups was uh, was one of those one of those moves. Terry's was written in early two thousand six, completed before other dystopian novels like Hunger Games, but not released until twenty thirteen. You seem to be a precursor and a visionary. In your opinion. Where does the fear of a dark future come from? And above all, what would you recommend to people to invest this tendency? Belief, faith, mutual aid, giving love without asking anything in return? You know, um, I, would, I would say foster a deep uh, belief, an inward search for God. <laughs> um, I think everybody, everybody wakes up every day wanting um, love and joy, peace, patience. You know what? In the Bible, they call uh, the fruit of the spirit kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Most people, uh, initially at least in their youth, I don't think they wake up going, you know what? I'm I'm gonna make everybody angry. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do things that are terrible and horrible to people. So I I think that. Uh, as far as as far as averting uh, fear of totalitarian government and, and how you you live outwardly uh, towards your yourself and towards your literal neighbors on either side of you and the people across the street, um, it it comes from seeking after God and uh, pursuing a, a lifestyle that is rooted in um, actually loving one another, um, actually helping and serving when you see a need, you, you go for that, you know, and you go and you help. Um, when you have the opportunity to uh, manipulate somebody, you pass on that. You know, you know what, I'm not going to, I'm going to accept their answer, I'm going to just, I'm going to 
trust that God's going to make a way for me. I didn't get what I wanted. I'm not going to try and I'm not going to try and swindle somebody. Um, it's really it's really simply about about being who you can be as your best self, um, and and in Christ, uh, I find that that's that's the best shot anybody has um, to to let to let the power and the virtue of who Jesus Christ is um, work through us and work in us. Thank you very much for answering our question. We wish you the best for your future projects. Thank you so much. I love everything y'all are doing. You have a wonderful day and uh, we'll, we'll talk soon.